Also guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be going through six secret Photoshop shortcuts that you need to know. So yes guys, as I said in this video, I'm going to be going through some shortcuts that will definitely help you use Photoshop. It's going to help you work a lot quicker, so it's going to help your workflow overall. I do use a lot of these, but I need to use more, so I thought I'd do a video on this and also help a lot of you guys out. So what I did guys is I did some research finding some shortcuts that you will actually use because I know a lot of the time people do videos on this and there's shortcuts that you will never use because they're like Control Shift R plus a plus eight four these are shortcuts that you can use hopefully can remember and will definitely improve your workflow one thing I would like to say before I do start is, of course, if you are on Mac, ignore me when I say control, that will be command for you and so forth. I don't really know if there's any other changes, but I do know that control is command on Mac. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before I do start. Anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get started with the shortcuts. Okay, guys, so the first shortcut we have is zooming in on something using only your mouse and your keyboard. So I know a lot of the time people press control plus and that just zooms in on the center, but there's a um, more efficient way of doing this so all you have to do is press Control alt on your keyboard and using your mouse you can just hover over somewhere and you can literally use your scroll wheel on your mouse and it will zoom in on that point it's really really good as you can see you can um, work with this a lot easier than the Control plus feature so as I said just Control alt and zoom in using the scroll wheel really simple okay guys so the next tip is really simple however I did not know this so um, if I want to go ahead and hide a lot of layers I literally just individually click them and as you can see it will slowly um, take them off but there is a much quicker way to do this so all you have to do is click and hold on one layer and then just drag down and it will disable all of the layers as long as you keep holding your mouse and if you want to enable them again it's just as simple you just hold it and just drag across is that easy okay guys so the next tip I have is moving a layer to the top of your page so say for example you have a layer that's all the way down here and you want to make it or a group for example and you want to make it go to the very top all you have to do is press Control shift and then the sort of square bracket on your keyboard it's like the right square bracket it will be on the screen now and you just press yeah Control shift and that and as you can see it will go to the very top of the page so for example these sunflowers here just control shift and then the square bracket and they will be at the very top of your whole document one thing I definitely did not know is actually selecting a color from an image so before I would go ahead and like click on something I would go to color overlay and I would get the color that way using the color picker but there's a much easier way to do this all you have to do is go over to the brush tool here on the left hand side it doesn't really matter what brush you have selected say for example we're just going to click the normal brush here and you just press alt on your keyboard you can select whatever color you want so say for example you want to get this yellow on the sunflower you just select that and now as you can see you have this yellow color which you can use on your brush or whatever I know that was a really simple shortcut but it does save a lot of time before I used to go to like color overlay use the color picker there but this is a much easier way to get for example like the hex code color of something that you have on your design okay guys so for the next tip I'm going to show you how to quick fill your image so say you want to add a background and instead of making a whole new layer go into the marquee tool or however you do it and filling that way uh, there's a much easier way so all you have to do is have a new layer press shift and then f5 on your keyboard so that's the refresh button and as you can see it will open up a separate window with the fill content so you can just select ok ok again and as you can see it will fill that whole document in that color okay guys so for the final shortcut we have here is moving your brush size so altering it basically you can make it bigger or smaller and instead of using this slider here which I actually always use you can press alt on your keyboard and use your right mouse to um, increase or decrease the size as you can see here and then you can go ahead and use that brush once you are ready it's got a white color right now so it's not actually working but yeah you can alter the size using your right mouse and holding down alt at the same time you can make it bigger and or smaller so that's a really cool way of changing your brush size basically so guys that's it for the video if you did enjoy them make sure to leave a like that would be much appreciated also if you would like to check out any of my graphics packs which will help you improve improve photoshop i've got a lot of variety on my selfie store make sure to go ahead and check it out the link will be in the description down below or it's selfie.com forward slash visual jd anyways guys that is it for the video i apologize for it being short but hopefully this did help you this has been visual or james and i'm out peace not the same we are not the same
it's a different name. 